what's going on everybody? welcome back we're looking at this this Kaldheim spoiler here coma cosmos serpent it's seven mana three two green two blue can't be countered that's cool it's a six six at the beginning of each upkeep very much very tender shoot dry addy Create a 3-3 three, three blue serpent creature token named Coma's Coil. I'll be home in five minutes. Stall for a bit. You got it. Uh, sacrifice another serpent. So he, he feeds his own ability. Uh, choose one. Tap a permanent. Its activated abilities can't be activated this turn, which is awesome. You could tap Planeswalkers or you could tap like a Golos before they get their mana. I don't know what that means. Yeah, It's going to be hard to do that, but anyway. Uh, or Coma Cosmos Serpent gets indestructible till end of turn, which is pr pretty ridiculous. Um, it, this can also be found with Green Sun Zenith or Finale of Devastation or Natural Order for the sake of people like myself who want to put it in their cubes. Because this guy seems sweet. Like, 6-6 six, six indestructible that uh, can't be countered seems pretty sweet. I See, I don't know if this card is Vintage Cube playable. But I have a lot of obscure cards like this in Vintage Cube that I just really like as cards, and I think they're fun. So, you know, I, I think it would be sweet. Okay. Well, let's jump on into this guy, and we'll see what happens. I assume Super Fritz will be ready by then. He said... I'll be home in five minutes, 108. That was nine minutes ago. All America. All right. Let's see what's happening. Nothing exciting. I'm home. We good. Nice. He didn't even tell me. I think we take upheaval. Ooh, I like an upheaval. I also like a Draga Tree Speaker. I like a Scarab God. I like a Cryptic Command. Stipulations. Fuck yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> you guys are all saying Scarab God? What about upheaval, guys? But what about upheaval? We can build around this upheaval. I gotta follow my heart. Listen to your heart. Nothing else you can do. Cause I create a sphinx. That's one of my favorite cards, too. I just watched the video where your opponent had Wrath every time versus your super sweet green deck. Okay, well, we're going to take... We're going to take Spohinks. Good old Jimmy Spohinks. So, with an upheaval deck, we want to take the Signet. But with a Control Magic in here, I kind of want to take that. So, I'm going to do it. Well, I would take the God, but I don't have the World Tree, guys. So, what's that even going to do? Like, I can't search for it. A signet is a signet, but control magic could be anything. Even a signet. What if we high tide? Are we mono blue upheaval? Hmm. Maybe. I mean, it's literally the best card in the pack for us. Eureka! Eureka! Fine, whatever. I'll just keep watching everybody and put it out the... Yeah, I feel like that's actually a solid punishment. Because then I always know you're there, just... Silently judging. Vampiric Tutor could be interesting. I mean, there's nothing in that pack. Oh, what up, Josh? Good seeing you, my dude. Always a pleasure, buddy.
What up, Shua Garner? Turnabout, huh? You know what? <sighs> Become the thing that you hate. Walking Ballista kills with infinite mana. Don't go to the dark side. I'm trying not to, but none of these other cars look really appealing. Stone Coil Serpent. Ooh, seething Song? Sure. God. It's got to be Tendrils, even though I think Lotus is good. Is this a Shut stip? No, money. not everything is a stip. I can't believe the big man <laughs> fell for that mailman scam. <laughs> oh, man. John, I appreciate you, buddy. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. And I, I even opened it because I was like, well, let me see if he stuck my cards in here, too. You didn't. So that's probably coming separately, but nevertheless. Oh, distraction cubing. Nice. I need some distracting. Buddy, don't we all? Dillon Mace, you don't even you don't even know, buddy. No, you do. You probably do. We all do. Oh, these cards are exciting. Commit to memory. It's a draw six. A draw seven, rather. I hate past in flames. Have ever told the tragedy of Dodd Plagueis the Wise? We just watched that recently, actually. Oh man. I think I just want I think I just want this. And I think we're gonna take Yogmoss Bargain instead at some point. That's my goal. The preordain seems good here. Repeal. Yeah, I'll take a repeal. Oh, I actually love Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen is literally... It's one of those shows that I don't make it a point to watch, but I, actually, I absolutely love it, regardless. Like, if there's ever just a Hell's Kitchen episode, I'll just 100% watch it. Shut up and take my money! Tacos, damn it, get some tacos. Oh my god, the aggression. The aggression. Shoe Garner, I appreciate you. I'll definitely try and get some Torchies tacos. It's gonna happen. I mean, it's gonna happen. 
Ooh, Mox Diamond? Oh, Palancron is what we're looking for because it's infinite mana for Walking Ballista. <sighs> Will Palancron wheel? I really want the Mox Diamond, though. I think it's Palancron. I, I just don't think we want to risk it with, with High Tide. Because, like, we could be mono blue with High Tide, Palancron, and, and like, Walking Ballista. Through the Breach. We could also just audible to through the breach as well like not change our plan but avelina in denver okay yeah hell's kitchen and kitchen nightmares are both both fantastic shows and i, I love them both that is a late ass shock um i think the question is do we want to be more red or more black here and and like we have Vampire Tutor and Tendrils, we have Seething Song, and we have Through the Breach. I think it's I think it's actually Ashiok here. Actually, creeping tar pits. Pro oh, frantic search now. We're taking a frantic search here. Uh, Thran Dynamo is great with upheaval. Like, Baral is just good with turnabout, frantic search. I think it's Baral here. I think we're more of storm than we are of upheaval. Mm, Banefire is good with infinite mana. It's still 50 50 on the. Fast bond is interesting because we have upheaval. I'm going to take the fast bond here. We don't have enough. I don't think we have enough rituals to really like go crazy with um, past and flames. Like that's the best part of past and flames. So, I mean, it's very possible we could be green blue and play this. Just take acquisition. Uh, I don't think we're ever connecting with light at this stage. Okay, Electromancer pushes me a little closer to red. I mean, Past in Flames... Wow, that's really cool, actually. That's a really late through the breach. Past in Flames might even table if there was enough cards in the pack. Mana Flare. Well, two red cards being... I mean, through the breach, Seething Song, Mana Flare... Banefire Goblin Electromancer seems pretty decent for our red. And there's an Ancestral Recall that we're going to take. And we're going to put that in the deck. Wheel of Fortune. We don't have any way to penalize them with Wheel of Fortune. I'm almost tempted to take Demonic Tutor. Skydiver also good. I mean, I kind of want the tutor because I think the black might be better now that we have Vampiric and Demonic Tutor. Like, having two tutors is pretty strong. Especially because we can go get things like High Tide or Upheaval or, or whatever we may need. Yeah, I'm going to have to take Demonic Tutor here. 
Oh, volcanic Island. Interesting. Also, Mole Drifter. I think it's Volcanic Island. And maybe Black Cleave Cliffs comes back and we, we get to play, like, all three of the colors. I mean, alternatively, like... Yeah, I'm gonna take Volcanic Island. It's also an island, so it's really hard to to pass up. Blight Steel doesn't do much. We don't have Tinker, nor do we have early cards to Tinker with. Thank you. It might just be Flame Slash. Oh, Dillon Mace with the gifted sub to Jimbo the Sarcophagus. Bloodstain Mire is an absolute treat. Wow, that gets us. All of our colors, if we want to play both. That was very nice. Wow. And they're just taking duress here. Mystical Tutor. That is a late Mystical Tutor. Thank you. Super Fritz with the Gifted Tubs with Nightmare Spire. Why are there so many of, of the Chuck E. Cheese band? I don't want to get on his bad side. Oh man, I'm glad the Chuck E. Cheese band members are still a are still a command. Oh, Hank Will of Aya then? Meh. Steam vents came back? Oh wow. Wow. You love to see it. Dark Slick shores me one time. Dark Slick shores me one more time. Oh my my oh, Maybe we could just play two colors as well, because now we have Mystical Tutor. And Ancestral, which should be enough to really go ham. Like, we can play Mana Flare, Seething Song, Flame Slash, Banefire. This is 20. Goblin Guy. I mean, I'd love to play Vampiric Demonic Ashiok as well, but... Oh, also, we might just want the tendrils. We have Mind's Desire. Wow, Academy. Academy does nothing for us. <laughs> what is the hair? It might just be Fire Blast. We actually might just be able to play a Fire Blast. <laughs> Gush is a card. This is 22. Thank you. Oh, anonymous gifter to the, to the, the pizza rat sub. <laughs> what about pepperoni pizza rat? <laughs> oh, God. Something wasn't right. Pepperoni pizza cat. <laughs> similar, but different. I don't think we can play tendrils here. This is a four drop. You're like a five drop. You're like a two drop. I like times to just play Demonic Tutor. <laughs> you can, like play one swamp, two black sources. It seems bad though. It seems unnecessary. Sick really is a time spiral. Our only draw seven is memory. I guess we have ancestral recall. I mean, if I'm playing any black card, it's going to be Demonic Tutor because that furthers our plan. I don't think Ashiok does as much. Could also just play Fire Blast. I mean, it's just, it adds to our storm count for free and it also deals them four. 
But I guess we're not storming. Like, what are we storming? What are we trying to hit with Mind's Desire? <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to fit single black for Demonic Tutor, let alone double black for Tendrils. Ugh. I mean, I think our goal is to just make infinite mana, then bane fire them, or walking ballista them. I mean, we could also just play something like Thunder Maw Hellkite, which I think is actually probably fine. Because we want to maximize our islands. Let's be... One, two, three, let's say seven. Maybe six. No, I think it is seven. Yeah, that seems fine. And something wasn't right. I don't know if this deck is going to do anything. But I do want to screenshot it just in case. I wasn't supposed to know. And something wasn't right. Yeah, every time I don't think a deck looks good, it ends up 3-0-ing, so that's cool. Is this gonna you think it's gonna fire or I can't go on. I mean Thunderball can just win out of nowhere sometimes. We watched the Truman Show like a couple weeks ago. Katie had never seen it before, so. Hmm. I will keep. Yeah, the Prismatic Bridge is sweet, especially because it has a, another side to it that can be played as a creature. Oh, look who it is. Why, Katie, why would you misspell my name? Katie N Eel. Why would you do such a thing? I'm going to preordain. I put a space for emphasis, you biscuit. Wow. How aggressive can you be? So on one turn, we can go Gush, Ancestral, Frantic, Minds Desire. Oh. Oh, baby, baby. So we go to five. We go to six, seven, eight. Then we go to nine after we draw for the turn. We play a land. And then we don't do anything else. So it's very likely that... Uh, 
I'm actually tempted to just play that guy. Play him as a man. So we're playing Steam Vents instead of uh, Mountain because we want to maximize the number of islands we have. If we only draw islands for the rest of the game, like that's kind of what we want because then the turn we high tide it'll be better. It's a low percentage, but it's still against this deck. I feel like it's not a terrible hedge. Elk Tears is not here, and we are storming. They got a path to exile. Fascinating. I'm gonna draw some cards today. Will you let me? Don't force of will this. <laughs> Okie dokie. I guess you did the thing. So they spent two cards. Yeah, you know, like, you know, block this creature with trample? So instead of us drawing three cards and essentially netting two cards, they lost two cards. So instead of a uh, one mana ancestral, it was a one mana mind rot instead, which is still good value. All right. Repeal was pretty sweet because now we can bounce our own Stonequall Serpent if they try to kill it, which they did not. See, now we might just get high tide here. I wonder if they're ever going to do anything, though. Like we have turnabout frantic search. I would love another island though. I think we're one island away from high tiding here. Although we do. Island? Flame slash. Now he is beta. Oh, you are going to counter my snake. That is sad. Oh, baby, baby, but I suppose to know that's a thunder ma. I guess we're just going to pass here, and I think we're going to Mystical Tutor for High Tide. We play High Tide. We have one, two, three, four, five mana. We can use three of it, untap three islands. We go to two, and then we get six. We go to eight. We can turn about, so we're going to have one, two... One, two, three. We can also gush that turn because we want to play to land. I mean, I guess we're just hoping they don't have counter spells. They're also just not playing anything, so I'm pretty sure they are going to have counter spells, which is unfortunate. I also don't know how our deck wins if they counter this and we don't. I mean, this is pretty amazing. This is like a three for one if they counter this, so. Actually, that's pretty good. Sure. Discard two cards, flame slash and an island. 
I think that was just fine. Let's turn about. I'm gonna pay to right now. I'm naming land, that's right. One, two, three. So this is five, six, seven. All right. Let's see what happens. Don't be lands. 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 Huh. Mana Flare seems terrible here. Unless we hit a Palantron. Wow, four lands. <sighs> it's actually the worst. <laughs> if only we could play lands, dude. That would be amazing. So we got six mana. We can Banefire for five. I think we're just playing Thundermall, I guess. That's pretty terrible. Actual worst. We just wasted like 10 cards to get a Thundermile Hellcat on the board. Oh boy, what an actual joke. I mean, we were hoping for... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh lord. Good times, man. Good times. Okay, you can counter this too? Wow. Your deck seems very fun. Cool. Guess in 19 turns you win. Yep, sounds good. That's going to make that commit to memory real good next turn. This is literally how it happens every time we draft this stupid archetype. I just don't think it's like... You just need too many pieces. Oh, cool. Tefri. Tefri and Narset, the fucking fun police of standard. Two of the best designed magic cards in the past 20 years. <laughs> that whole turn was the equivalent of that scene in Indiana Jones. When the guy with the swords is getting all fancy and then Harrison Ford just rolls his eyes and shoots him. Yeah, that scene's amazing. Yep, we're just going to concede here because they're going to... Commit to memory next turn. Cool. Bunch of lands. Seems good. All right. So, <laughs> kind of just want to board into like a more aggressive deck now because <laughs> I don't think this is doing it. It's just so disheartening. Like, what did they, it did nothing. What does your hand do? Well, the same as my deck, really. Nothing. I don't think this deck actually does anything. I think it's a mishmash of, like, Storm that wanted to happen. We didn't hit Brain Freeze. We don't really have the greatest fixing for Tendrils. I mean, we literally might just be in a position where we have to play the Black Mana. But the problem is we don't have any of the Rituals. We just have High Tide, which makes the fewer blue sources, the worse that the deck is. Something wasn't right.
I mean, I would be, I would love to play Mana Flare if we had any way to take advantage of it. We also have four four mountains in the deck, and we've drawn two of them this game. <laughs> oh goody. <laughs> what an absolute shitbag. Oh, man. Oh, I got a force of will. I have both of the free counters. We've seen like six counter spells in their deck, so that's cool. That's cool. Good times. Horse of will, you're walking ballista. No, oh, they did not force of will. My walking ballista. Mm, spell pierce. Pew, 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 pew. Wonder if they're just gonna commit to memory next turn. If so, I'm just gonna fire blast the Narset. I mean, we're definitely not gushing. Oh, but they—I guess they have fire. They have force of will. So you know, as long as they have a blue card in their hand. <sighs> Cool. I'm gonna force of will that. Yep, we're just gonna be. Yep, cool. Must be nice. Enjoy your bullshit deck with 14 counter spells in it. You making those noises just in my dog? What noises? I don't even remember what noises I was making. Yeah, I'll keep this. sucking squeak noise I have no idea what I was doing I don't know what a sucking squeak noise is she started tearing through the house looking for me I don't know. Classic sucking squeak noises. I have no idea what noise that was. Sucking squeak noise was my band name in high school. It was any good? Oh my god, Jimbo the Sarcophagus, your freaking Twitch profile picture is hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. Jimbo the Sarcophagus, his Twitch profile picture is this. I don't even know who that is. Oh, man. That's amazing. Hmm. <sighs> 
<laughs> is that pizza rat or pepperoni pizza? It's so hard to say, you know? Don't kill it. Don't you kill it. They didn't kill it? Oh, man. Now they're dead. Have you seen the new blue-green serpent that just got spoiled? You mean the one I literally showed off at the beginning of the stream? I have seen it. And I was a big fan. Looks pretty sweet. But of course it's blue-green, because those are the only colors that uh, Wizards knows how to really push. So, Oh, Shark Typhoon. Really? You're just Shark Typhooning for two here. This is very fascinating. You ever have a Lotus Petal for that, huh? Oh, baby, baby. I want to bounce your shark. Something wasn't right. Do we just Mystical Theater for high tide here? No, there's no way, right? Because we can high tide, then Mana Flare. How much would that be, right? We go high tide for one. One, two, three, four, five. No. One, two, three, Mana Flare. Get three Frantic Search. I actually think this could be good. Okay, so hold on. We're going to play high tide. This is going to be in play. High tide. We'll have... We'll tap this for one, this for two. We'll play Mana Flare. Tap this for three. Frantic search for two. We have one floating. Untap these three. Tap them for nine. It's a big walking ballista. We also get two extra cards to look at. I don't think we have to do it yet, though. We can wait. I do like a preordain. Uh, bottom you, top you, play you. Okay, I might do it next turn because that's a s significantly more mana. It's like six more mana. Did we not play a land last turn? I mean, it was turn four. No, I, we that was we played four lands, so. Unless we unless we had a an explorer that we didn't play an extra land off of. Okay. Well, if they're not gonna do anything. Okay, I think next turn is when we're gonna go for it. We get to look at three more cards. Well, I guess two. Something was in a ride. I wonder what they got. I'm gonna be like, what did you get? You didn't show me. Did you go warm power stone? All right. Well, they have one mana up, so we're definitely gonna we're definitely gonna do it. We're really hinging on this frantic search here. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. And the moon is right. So we can easily discard. So the problem is we're going to have one card if we play Mana Flare, this and this. I think we just want to go... One, two, Mana Flare. Frantic Searcherino. Oh, that's the ticket. That's the Tickerino. Let's get rid of you and you. One, two, three. This guy. One, two, three, four. So this costs six. We can play this as a five. No, this costs five. So we can play this as a six, six. And mine's desire for five. Come on, Palancron. Daddy needs his... Yeah, that'll do. That won't do. That, nope. Mm, okay. Well, that was cool. Literally thunder my hellkite every time we, uh... 
Fucking every time, every time we cast... Oh boy. Every time we mine Zazire, it's always going to be a Thunder Mile Kite. Well, now they have a million mana, so I'm pretty sure they're just going to kill us. Which is unfortunate. <sighs> Could have been Upheaval. That wouldn't have been... We could have actually Upheavaled and then played Thunder Mile Kite. Eh, it wouldn't have been terrible. Deal them six. We just gave them a million mana. These turns have felt really good. That turn felt really good. The turn of the first round felt really good. I think our payoffs are either we're just not hitting them or they're just not good enough. Oh, God. Are they just going to tendrils us here? This is hilarious. Oh, my fucking God. Okay. Well, you could, you're at nine. Do they just play something? What do they... Because well, we have walking ballista on board. Do they, they know that, right? They can literally only play three life worth of spells. Uh, what? So they're dead. They just killed themselves? Like, I'm letting this resolve. <laughs> I do not think it matters what you get at this juncture. If you put anything on the stack, I'll kill you. Oh, what up, Juposhi? Good seeing you, my dude. Is there still a Frank Discord? Yeah, of course. Connect it. Connect it to your, your Twitchy boys. They know Walking Bliss is on the board, right? What? Did they just hope I forgot? <laughs> like, maybe you won't know. I feel like Avalanche Riders might just be in the main deck. Take out the control magic. That was really strange. They're like... Is it just worth it to play Tendrils in the deck? I don't know. Cut one mountain, one island. I really don't know. I mean, because if we hit it off Mind's Desire, it's good. If we have Mana Flare out, it's good. That's it. Otherwise, we just it's just going to be unplayable. If it's in our hand, it's not great. Like we could also go, we could hit Consecrated Sphinx, we could hit Palancron. The problem is we do have four four X spells to hit off of Mind's Desire, which is not always ideal. That's see, that's funny. Okay, okay. Let's put tendrils back. Seems good. I wonder if we get a black here or we get like a steam vents. That's the question. Can I share my Vintage Cube song link? I don't even know what that is. Vintage Cube song? And obviously, yeah, you don't even need to ask. Buddy, you're a mod. You can do whatever you want. I've actually been really loving the Coldheim spoilers. So, I don't know what you're complaining about, you little biscuit.
they discard Memory Jar Rakdos Return. We aren't really into supporting Chick-fil-A. It's true. It's true. Oh, it doesn't have anything to do with their gluten. It has to do with their their policies. Um, so I think we are getting a black with this because then we can mana flare and we'll have double black. I guess we could have taken flame slash out. Get in there. Oh, Moochel definitely doesn't eat there daily. He's, uh... He's of the same mindset as we are. Okay, so they, they Imperial tutored for something, then missed a land drop. I'm not sure I understand. My confusion is palpable. Frank, are you still planning to play Cyberpunk on stream? So, I actually returned my copy of Cyberpunk. But I'm still eager to play it. I was just really apprehensive, and like I I, I kept reading, like, issue after issue after issue and i know it's playable i know it's a playable game and it's probably going to be fine but i felt weird paying 60 dollars for it when i knew it was kind of like still real kind of iffy does that make sense you know like i don't know so i think if i can get it on like i'm pretty sure it'll be fine for pc so they're netting one mana by doing this okay I, you know, if I, I think if I can get it for less than 60 bucks, like if it's on sale for like $39 or like, you know, whatever, I mean, I'll definitely pick it up. But I think my issue is just like I want it to be more polished than it is. Something's happening right now. Oof. Big, big fat oofs. Oh, Commits Memory was a nice hit here, especially when they've already time spiraled <laughs> or uh, already high tided. It's the best game I've played in a very long time. That's something. I also feel like the... Um, sure. I feel like the... <laughs> the the, uh, the sexual content is high. I feel like I keep seeing screenshots and stuff, and I'm like... And I hope it's not, like, super gratuitous. Well, the ads, yeah. <coughs> also, I'm real reluctant to uh to do a character creation where I get to uh pick my own penis, as it were. Okay, you're just gonna cycle that. Sounds good. Um, huh. I think I'm going to commit to memory of this. Simply having wonderful Christmas time. Because if they're digging, like, they don't have a second black source here. So they could, I guess they could brain freeze, but, like, that doesn't kill us. Well then, because I feel like they're digging for their piece. They're digging for like a land or like a... I have five lands in hand. Yikes. Um, yeah, we're just going to waste this mana.
That is a thing. I mean, they can sack this if they want. I'm sure they will. But they did not sack that. Well, now I'm regretting not playing. And so if we play high tide, we have two, three, four, untap three. Hmm. I mean, if they have five lands in hand, I think we can wait a turn. Okay, so they have four lands. Land? Island? Oh, we were hoping for an island. Uh, island? High tide? Alright, our turn, I guess. Um, simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Michael B. In the tree. Um... No, we're just going to go off here, I guess. Discard two Cardos. We played a land? Yeah, we did. So we can get rid of these two. One, two, three. Tap. Walking Burlista. That's Preordane. Turnabout. Bottom. Top. Turnabout yourself. Land. Untap. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. do it for five or we could just hope they don't have anything and kill them right um so if we like this could be five this could be eight Oh, we're going to Serpent for one here. Let's hit a Tendrils one time. Make it count. Avalanche Rider. There it is. Oh, add the Tendrils to the deck. This guy. Let me get rid of that guy. And eh, we'll just tendrils. What's happening right now? Oh boy. Are they killing me? <laughs> Am I dead? Shark shark typhoon. Okay, okay. Twenty two? Yeah, all right. Three, four, five, simply having a wonderful Christmas time.
All right, we got one more round. Is Tendrils back out? Um, I mean, it's not in the deck. Do we think it should be in the deck? It felt kind of weird. I mean, I feel like this is very results-oriented, but... Shut up and take my money. Oh, simply having wonderful tendrils. <laughs> simply having a wonderful tendrils time. Is there a way to shuffle it back in if drawn early? No, but like then we can cast it with mana flare in one swamp. Also, baby. I don't know. Like, we can also tap a black, untap it with Frantic Search, get another black, untap it with Turnabout. Like, we do have ways to get two black. Did you see the new green god? There's, I don't know, there's a lot going on, man. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? God damn. Oh, Green God is the bridge? Yeah, that one's good. Well, I mean, there's another Green God. There's two Green Gods. That's my point. I mean, I would, I would much sooner put in Demonic Tutor than Mastermind's Acquisition. <laughs> like... I don't even know how those are comparable. Spoiler alert. They're not. Finally. Good gravy. Simply. Heaven. You know what? No guts, no glory. It might need three, maybe four. Maybe the whole set is just green gods. Mastermind does mean we can have tendrils out. And for the low, low cost of four black mana, we can even play that, dude. Sometimes I get so distracted by chat that I, I was like looking over and I'm like, all right, Volcanic Ion. And then I realized they had a non-basic. So I was almost like, oh, wait, did I just walk up Volcanic into a, into a wasteland? I didn't. But it just goes to show you like how distracting like streaming in general can be. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Shut up and take my money. Whose money am I taking? Simply having <laughs> a wonderful biscuit time. A wonderful biscuit time. Oh, adorable. We're going to preordain here. Got a high tide up there? Oh, you do have a high tide. Put you on top. Put you on top of that. And we are going to go ham next turn. Maybe not next turn. But someday. Someday. 
You have your wonderful Christmas time on your own time. I thought this was my time. Streamer advantage. Yeah, hey, anyone who complains about it, we've talked about this before, but anyone who complains about streamer advantage literally has never streamed a day in their life. Like, whatever advantage I get by you maybe making plays that I might not have seen is completely outweighed by all the times. I'm like, oops, I clicked through my main phase because I was reading the chat. Like, it's like night and day. So it's high tide. We get one, two, three, four, five, six. Frantic search. Go to nine. How many lands do you need for this idiot? <clears throat> to go infinite? Because we got Banefire. So it's seven and four. So 11, so you need six lands, I think. Because you're going to pay seven. Untap seven. Make 12. Pay seven and four. It's not ideal. But it's like two turns away, I guess. No, you definitely need five lands with high tide. Or six lands with high tide. You need to make 12 mana is the thing. What's happening right now? Shut up and take my money. Wonderful Christmas. Br simply having a wonderful pizza time. <laughs> pizza time. Oh, they discarded a Krark. Another Grixis deck? Is this just like double storm? Are we just getting stormed out twice? I'm going to tendrils for two. Oh, God. It's all happening. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Cool. It's okay if you 3 for one yourself to cast the Sundering Titan because you're killing two of their lands. I think we got to go for it here. Otherwise, we're dead. Discard two cards. How many cards are we discarding today? Do we play land this turn? Yes. So we can discard both of our lands. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Palancron. One, two, three, four. Five. <clears throat> okay. Can we actually win this? Is this going to kill them? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three of it for this.
Oh my god, and we get to attack with Electromancer if they don't have an answer? <clears throat> Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Just kind of want to revel in that for a second. Wow. That's what's known as exact seas. <laughs> Holy smokes, man. That was wild. John, glad you could see that one, buddy. <clears throat> all right so another plan some black nonsense wow that tendrils was that was clutch boy the lesson is you always play tendrils in your in your storm deck because you'll always be able to get the mana for it i'm gonna bring in duress against them i'll take out flame slash because that thing seems terrible Man, why didn't you guys tell me? I probably could have won round one if I played this stupid tendrils. Well, that's not going to do it. <clears throat> See, that's a good... That'll do. That'll do it. I'm actually going to ship Mountain here. I mean, we have a high tide. We can easily get another red source if we need it. Raging Ravine. I mean, I guess our fingers crossed that they don't have... Your boy. You boy being. I mean, Sundering Titan is a, a scary card. I just really dislike it. I'll tell you, it's th th Thymos, there's no stip right now. <clears throat> we are stip free. This is my signet. I I'm tempted to just wait to Ancestral. Like, we're not under any pressure right now. And, uh... Well, we're gonna get a black source now. <clears throat> Oof. You have a Phyrexian Rager in hand, and that's it, huh? All right, now we're going to Ancestral. Okay, okay, we're living the dream. Temple Garden, Rager. <coughs> yeah, that's not, <clears throat> you got to do that the other way, my dude. So you have Mountain, card you drew, card you drew from Ranger. Got it. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Ba -do -do. We're just going to bounce this. <clears throat> we're really just trying to get through our deck and, uh, yeah, see, that's what we're looking for, really. And 
and they played mountains. So they have three unknowns. I feel like they just need too much now to really like to really pressure us too much. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, I think we I think we're gonna wait. We got like two more turns. I wanna play mountain and then I wanna draw one more blue source. <clears throat> This is the wait for Super Fritz to get home, then draft storm by by chance step. Okay. Gilded Lotus is good. I actually like this a lot because uh, it guarantees they're not going to, like, Sundering Titan us, and it also puts this in the graveyard so we can take advantage of it. Volcanic Island. One time. Mystical Tutor. What do you get? So if we high tide, we get one, two, three, four, five, six. Seething song is eight. Frantic search is five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <clears throat> Turnabout is seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's 15 mana. Which means we can easily Mystical Tutor for something before. Puts us to 14 mana. And also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spells. Mind's Desire would be 6. So 15 mana. <clears throat> so four, let's say 14 and then we can play Ballista first. Hmm. I think that I think that does it. Two, three, four. <clears throat> oh, we have to discard something. Oh shit. That's see, that's bad. Oh boy. Four, five, six. I guess we could just frantic search, discard like... Oh, dang. Yep, that changes everything. All right, so we can Mystical Tutor here. We know we're going to draw one thing. Actually, six, seven, eight, nine. Is Upheaval good? No, Upheaval doesn't seem great. Let's go get Tendrils. Frantic Search. Uh, Discard. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten. I think it's just these two. Actually, what are we at? Four? I don't think it's Seething Song. I think we might just keep Gush Tendrils. We have a lot of mana to work with here. Let's see. What, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is four. So we have eight mana. This is four damage, and this will be... 6, so 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. They'd go to 3. It's not great. It's not what we need. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, I feel so anxious right now because I'm making my opponent do the same thing that I hate doing. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, we're not get, we're not getting rid of tendrils. That's that's not the question. The question is whether we're, we're keeping walking blister or gush. One, two, three. 
Okay. <clears throat> okay. So that's good. One, two, three. So we make an 8-8, eight, eight, and then we tendrils you for the rest, which is 14. <clears throat> so as long as you don't have an answer, this is an 8-8 eight, eight, um, that kills you next turn because you can't block with Raging Ravine. So fingers crossed, I guess. Oh, they took it. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Well... We tried. I guess we're at 29. We got some time. That's hilarious. Bane fire. Oh, that would have been so good. I wonder if there... Nah, see, like, we could have committed some but then we have to discard the card we got, so... <clears throat> oh, we have a Bane fire in the deck, so I think they're just gonna... I think they're on the... Uh... Yeah, there's Gilded Lotus. Oh. Well, let's see if we're dead. We got, like, a couple turns. Uh, I don't think Mystic Reminds Desire would have been better. Like, it's too random. I, I mean, like, who knows if it would have been better. Like, it's literally random. So, I don't know. We dealt, like, sick. That's fucking exactly what I was afraid of. <sighs> it's really frustrating. I mean, they never don't have it, right? You're, I mean, like, if this, is, if this is the thing we're most concerned about, it's the exact thing they're going to fucking have. So, you know. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, we get one more turn. If we can draw... <laughs> There's nothing we can draw now. Unfortunately. Oh, good. An Inferno Titan as well. So close yet so far. Or is it char when you need it? It's going in the deck now. I mean, like, I feel like there's got to be a decision I could have made differently there, so. Avalanche Riders also seems great. Let's take out Stone Coil Serpent. I got upheaval. I don't feel like we're doing upheaval very well. <clears throat> we're not upheavaling very well. I wonder if we can just run Ashiok. How are we splashing for fast bond? <laughs> we have no way to... You can't just splash it. Like, we're going to put a forest in here. And then high tide gets worse. I was actually thinking about control magic because of the stupid... Uh, Sundering Titan. And the Inferno Titan. Actually, let's take Char out. We'll bring control magic in. Um, you know what? Let's go for it. Imagine the card you fear the most. It will be in the hand. Oh, yeah. Mm, bout, bout.
if you play if you play Sundering Titan, you have to destroy all lands that are available. If you destroy an island, a mountain, and a swamp of mine, if there are a forest and a, a, a plains on board, you still have to destroy those. You have to destroy every, every basically every type that's available to destroy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we can we can ancestral here. Look, there it is again. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't care about batter skull. I'll just get rid of the. Like they also don't have any lands here. Wow, that's fascinating. I feel like us dealing damage to them is better than them dealing damage to us here. So. Is that five? <clears throat> actually pretty decent um <clears throat> so actually we can thunder we could have actually thunder this turn that would have been good yeah i think we can actually do a shit ton of damage here okay you got that but nothing else as far as i can tell I really need a second blue, but I think we can find one, right? Oh, yeah. Mm bout bout. Chicka chicka. So, we'll discard Island and Walking Ballista. We'll go get a Volcanic Island. One, two, three, four. Turn about ourselves. Land, untap. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This costs five, six, seven. Um, one, two, three. Thunder Mizzle. We're just going to go ham here. This costs two mana. Um, one, two. So Banefire is already like two damage automatically. Three, four, five, six, seven. cancel um shouldn't it be seven so what is this three four five six seven oh we're spending seven total mana so yeah i guess it should be six we're gonna go it's two three four five six seven because we didn't have the red wow wow <laughs> okay guys maybe storm is kind of okay kind of okay maybe i'll put it in the cube i don't know we'll see i don't know man it's so storm is so polarizing for me thank you guys for watching really appreciate the support send those like and subscribe buttons check me out on twitch.tv slash frankopor next time make sure i put the tendrils in my deck be sure to go to twitch.tv and follow or subscribe if you can if you have twitch prime which is a combination of amazon prime and twitch you get a free sub every month Really appreciate it if you guys want to support me in that way. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.